top five. Hey guys, um, welcome back to part two of my trip. And now part two is obviously consisting more of um, content to Portugal now. Um, as you can see, I'm currently in a car and that's because um, we hired a car and now we are going to kind of do like a little drive to uh, Portugal. We had a little bit of like mishaps that happened throughout the trip, like we missed our flight yesterday. We were supposed to actually be in Portugal yesterday, but then we ended up missing our flight. The airport was extremely full and now we literally had no choice but to stay one more night in um, Spain. And then this morning we made sure we were extra early. We were at the airport by like 6.30 and luckily the airport wasn't like that bad. So now we are going to make our way to Seville because, uh, to Seville, to Por Portemau because the festival actually starts today and I'm exhausted. I need a shower, but I also need a drink. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to talk to you as soon as we get to Portugal. kind of phase of the holiday which is the hotel called Pelican Alvor. It looks pretty good to be honest. It looks like a really nice hotel actually and turns out it's not too far from the event in itself but we obviously would need to take a taxi or something of that nature. So I'm just glad that we're finally here so that I can take a shower and kind of you know Prep up, and I'm really hoping the stores are not too far. Like, I really want to go check out a swimsuit because the difficulty that I had in Spain was finding a nice um, kind of coverall for like what I want to wear. So, I'm just really hoping we manage to get something done. But I really do want to get an outfit, if not for today, for tomorrow. But yeah, let's check in and see what we have. And we'll give you guys a room tour of the second hotel. Already, it looks really nice, and there is a kind of open plan restaurant, I mean, like out there. But then, I'm really enjoying the view. I really hope the view is worth it. How far are we from the beach? Okay, let's just see. So, this is what oh, and look, and there's a cute pool, an outdoor setup, like so, which is nice. Oh, pelicans. And then there's a pool area, obviously, to the hotel down there. As you can see, this hotel is way bigger than the Marriott in Barcelona. One thing about Barcelona is that they um, they have small spaces, so like small hotel rooms, small whatever. I'm really hoping this hotel room is a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, and you can obviously see um, this hotel is not in the city center. Where we were staying was the city center, obviously making it uh, smaller by default. But yeah, that's really cool. And then they look like I have a brunch area here, so I'm really hoping I can order some food because I just had the trashiest sandwich at like a road stop. I ordered a chorizo sandwich and they literally gave me bread and chorizo on it. And I was like, but it seems like it's a delicacy or like it's a, uh, it's a common thing for Spanish people. But this is essentially what it looked like. I'll probably post a picture. I'll show you guys. But yeah, it was so unappetizing. I thought maybe it had some lettuce in Something rama nyana here. Let's get some For real, for real. So anyway, I'm hoping we can just check in. I want to take a shower and then come downstairs and get something to eat before I prep for um, affirmation. Okay guys, um, let's do a quick room tour. So this is what the room looks like. It is, I am like pleasantly surprised that it's actually bigger than what I thought. 
this is the layout there's a couch there's a tv which is actually really cool there's a mirror right here showing you how dirty my pants look and then the bathroom is right here so it's an it, heaven heaven i don't know if the bathroom light works actually um okay i try to click it and nothing's working so it's got a bidet which is very shocking and then it's got like a shower like um bathtub like just a mixture of the two which is cool really cool and then walking towards the other side there is a big balcony which is cool it's got a very apartment like style and then the bed is right there the designs are nice and i don't know what this door is for like where am i oh the hair one yeah I have no idea what the use for that door is to open to go that way, but that's very, that's very weird. So yeah, guys, that is essentially what the room looks like. I think the nice thing about it is if you do come back and you've got some food with you, you can heat it up. So that's cool. It's giving definitely like, a, it's giving Airbnb vibes, but the good kind because, um, it was really inexpensive for its price point. It was really inexpensive and you got quite a lot. Okay, here we go. I managed to open the balcony because it's quite hot in here. I think it's probably because it's been dark. <clears throat> right. So yeah, it's got a whole like kind of apartment style setup, which is really nice. Um, it, it's not giving, you know, any other vibe, but the, the scenery also, mm, you know, I mean, this is what you can see on the outside, if you look, which is cool. So Umuntu can actually buy a hub and come back and smoke my hub on my balcony. Yeah, this, this has a lot, this has a lot more cooler features, which I appreciate. So what I'm going to do is take a shower, try to figure out how to switch on the bathroom, take a shower and talk to you guys when I'm done. guys i have taken a shower and this is what i look like let me show you guys my outfit i am just wearing this long dress that and these sandals you know what you know what the crazy thing is is that i packed so many pairs of shoes so many slides even heels and i'm wearing these every day oh let's let's close the sliding door maybe the pelicans might fly in okay nope can you please come and close the sliding door? So that's my outfit now, but the only reason it is my outfit for now is because we just have to go to the actual uh, event Afro Nation and kind of get our tickets. Um, something about us having to get them before the actual event so that we don't have to struggle getting in, struggle getting the tickets. And hopefully I can go and find a sarong because I would like to wear a bikini and a sarong because we're going to be on the beach. Is it on the beach? Right. The event is yeah. it on the beach, yeah. so I would like to like wear a sarong. Where's your, 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 your it's in my bag. You gave it to me, right? Passports. The only thing you to. No, but I, I can know that lady was. No, yeah, she took your key. This is mine. Yeah, how I can you were filling in Guyon. I don't have it. You never gave it to me. When she was busy signing up, how long now? Okay, so I haven't started getting ready for Afro Nation, but one thing I'm gonna tell you without a shadow of doubt, everyone is looking super good, and I am hating my outfit right now. Because everyone is not dressed. Everyone just looks great. The baddies are baddying, the boys are boying, like everything is just, the boys are looking cute, the girls are looking sexy. And I'm out here in a long ass dress, like girl, I, I need to go back to the hotel, do my makeup, and start preparing for this event. But anyway, we're here on the Prairie de something. We're gonna get this these damn tickets. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, do my makeup, and then come back. All right, let's, let's get it. Oh my god.
ready or no? No. No, no, no. worries. Can we do it online? Not anymore. You can do it down there or at the festival too. Oh, at the festival as well. Yeah, yeah. Only card, no cash. Okay. It's okay? Yeah, that's great. Have fun. I think you should make it tighter. Thank you. More? Yeah, no, that's okay. Fine. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Have fun. Bye bye. Okay, now we have to go top up our cards, which also feels like a fucking nightmare. My wig is gonna suffer. It's gonna suffer through all of this on the bunk. I'm already suffering as it is. I definitely need to get a hat or something because no fucking way is broken. I need to go and change. Like, what the fuck? He's going to do my makeup. And how is my makeup gonna survive this fucking heat, bro? Uh uh. Imagine coming back here, having to do your face beat and then it fucking melts by the beach. I would be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Are you, are you gonna do full fuck? makeup? Yes! Uh, the fuck? I definitely am. You know it. <laughs> so, yes, guys. It's my frontal that I'm worried about. I think I'm gonna need to get a hat or wear a cap at all points because. I can't, I can't do that. Now, the line that's pretty long is the top up line. Yeah. I think we should do it now. Get it out the way. It's really long. Um, but hey, we move. Um, put the money in his account since my card is blocked. And then I probably. Okay, ish. If we can get it 2.5, then why us at that say the 150 euros and yours 150 in mine? If we pay. Hey guys, um, so we are back at the hotel. I know, I know, I know, I look like crap and my wig is not wigging. And you know what? This is the lesson that I should have learned that it doesn't make any sense to wear a wig to a festival. If I know anyone in Portugal who could do my frontal, I would ask them to obviously just style me, do my frontal proper, but my frontal is lifting so I got a hat. And I think I'm basically just going to have my hat on all weekend and try and enjoy the festival without worrying too much about my wig and what it's going to do. But I did get some, like a little kind of a over cover over for my bikini because everyone's wearing bikinis and somebody forgot to mention that it's a beach festival as opposed to it just being a festival so I packed jeans and pants not knowing Hori were going to the beach so and it's definitely oh sorry guys I was looking at the dog there wasn't it's, it's my fault guys yeah, please please, please let us know in the comments if it's my fault oh God. please let me know in the comments if there's anyone at Afro Nation who can fix my wig for me but if not that's fine but it's definitely his fault um and I'm never wrong about anything, so that's fine. Right, so now I am going to get ready. Guys, yo, the girls there are looking so hot. Girls have their thighs out and stuff, they're looking hot as fuck, and I'm just there on some. Like, I did not, I did not plan to be more insecure than I already am about my body. But the one good thing that came out of this trip is that I am walking like crazy, okay? I am making sure to cover my 10,000 steps kind of quota because I haven't been going cycling. Um, but that's also because we have no choice here. People are walking, people are having a good time. Oh, there's Rebecca. And I just made a new friend, her name is Rebecca. So yeah, guys, I'm definitely looking forward to the event today. I definitely want to see Devon Koko perform. Where's the Devon Koko man today? Koka Koka. <coughs> Where was I? Looking forward to um, Devon Koko performing today because she's, I'm definitely one of her biggest fans. And uh, who else am I looking to see perform today? I don't know, but all I know is I just want to have my ass out. I just want to shake my ass on a yacht in a thong. Not in Dubai though, because I'm not in Dubai, but if I could, I would. Okay guys, so anyway, we're just gonna have a quick lunch. Maybe have a cocktail or two. Then I'm gonna go and get ready. I'm actually, we did the right thing by having um, lunch at the hotel, no? Because mm. at least the room is upstairs. And then we'll see our friends later. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. 
Fuck. Oh, Fuck. The strawberry deck is amazing. Is the best deck you've had in your life? Hmm. I must be. day one of affirmation and this is my outfit i just want to show you guys how it looks i'm actually super pissed because i was really hoping my ass would show like i did ass did ass bought this thing thinking that i need my booty to pink bro but it's not and i hate it but let me show you guys what i'm wearing so this is how i look for day one of affirmation i'm wearing this little kind of cover over my you know my bathing suit and i was i want to shake that ass you know but I feel like people are not seeing enough of this booty unless I, unless I do something like this, you know? And it's, it's, it's not fair. Like, God didn't give me such a nice booty so that you guys wouldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? It's really not cool. But anyway, I'm ready to go. So let me just, let's talk about the girls and guys I saw at Affirmation. The girlies! Their asses are peaking. Sorry, I just stand next to the acorn because it's so hot. The girlies' asses are peaking. The boys, oh, I had to remind myself, hey, are you, you're in a relationship, when I had to just say, hey, hey. <laughs> because the boys were looking good. And the time that I started seeing everybody, I was wearing this long, ugly dress. Like I was tired. I was sweating from the sun. I was just looking all types of ways. So nobody was obviously looking at me at any point. And then I ended up seeing like two people that I know from South Africa who saw me looking like a sack shit. So they're probably just like, hey, lady girl, what's going on? What's going on? Girl, what's going on? But I'm fine now. I'm ready for Afro Nation. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to ramble. And it's about 6.30 right now and it's bright as hell outside. So what I've decided I'm going to do is today I'm actually not going to get that drunk. I'm going to take my camera with me and my little backpack. Um, probably because I'm just going to need that backpack. It's going to have like my perfume, maybe uh, some sunscreen, some things. Oh, is our Uber downstairs? You want to go get a beer? Can you please order me a strawberry decorate? Okay, cool. So we're gonna go downstairs and drink now. But essentially, what I'm excited about is the fact that it's day one. I'm really loving my outfit, even though I would have preferred this to kind of be more mesh and lighter because I wanted my ass to show. But let's go get another drink and prep for the actual events. And I look hot now, so I know niggas are gonna be looking at me now. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna be looking for my Bundesliga. But we move right. Let's get another strawberry daiquiri or another Long Island up in this, okay? I'm trying to get drunk, sis. I'm, I'm sis. gonna get warmer if I drink vodka, right? Guys, it's gonna rock. So now I were in the Uber, we're getting ready to go. Now I'm feeling the vibe. Now I'm ready. I am ready. Thank you. Got my strawberry daiquiri for the road. Okay. How's it, Rui? Okay, yeah. Mm. How are you? Okay. Are, are you, are you, are you Rui Costa? Not Rui Costa, Rui Silva. Rui Silva? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please don't joke with me. Are you a Benfica fan? You also wanted a super decorative. So we're here. We're walking on the street. I know it probably doesn't make sense for me to actually have a camera. Neither here nor there, Miss Mamas. Just got my fat ass casually walking in the streets of Portugal, okay? And 
is Ronaldo from Portugal. I'm Sean Bells. What's my tag? No bitch. Who said he's in Portugal right now? He's in Madrid, you fuck face. Ugh. Shut up. Okay. If I casually bump into a future soccer player, I don't mind, okay? But it is what he is. I'm gonna tell you he plays, he plays for another shisha place. He's a banya, I don't know. Yeah? They're gonna tell you he's playing. No, he's. He, he, why are you looking for him in in, in uh, Portugal? He plays for Manchester United. Yeah, so he's in London or Manchester. Are you, are you stupid? Girls are so stupid. They need to work. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to day two of my vlog. To be really honest with you guys, I don't feel like vlogging today. I actually feel like today is the one day where I actually want to go and enjoy my time as opposed to filming the same thing that happens with friends. I feel like the festival is already a continuation of the same thing every other day. So 
should I flash? He keeps telling me I should film. He keeps telling me, isn't that part of your job? Isn't that your content? Take your camera with Miss Mamas. And I'm just like, but Big Papa, I, I don't, I'm not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you don't have a camera and twerk on you at the same time. Like, that's the thing, um, man. Hey, that's the thing. It's Dimasami. What about this Dimasami? But anyway, let me just show you guys what I'm wearing, what I look like for today. Um, second outfit. Sort of. Second outfit, we have an all white. You guys knew that there was no way in a Lady M official was gonna head out without an all white. So now because I've wore these pants in Barcelona, I just decided I would wear them again. You guys obviously know in the Barcelona vlog that um, I didn't have bikini. So I bought this bikini from Pullen Bear. And then these pants are pants that I've had for a while. They are pants I got from, what's this online store? Uh, shit. Um, Tato's online store. I actually just forgot. So I just meshed it together, made a little cute piece, got the Bundesliga out, and now we are headed there. But I do want us to make a quick pit stop because I want to get a fan. Guys, it is crazy hot out there. I'm actually secretly glad that today is a lot cooler, but I just have to say it is crazy hot out there. And you can even see it's already 5.30 and people are still hanging out by the pool. Look there. They're hanging out by the pool. They're having a good time. The heat here is a little bit unbearable and today we made sure that we want to leave a little bit later when the sun is kind of sort of set. So we're going to go meet up with some of um, Lolo's friends and um, just hang out with them and try my best not to get too litty. Because yesterday I got litty to a point where I started crying and I cried all my makeup off. Like I'm, I'm not kidding, I cried all my makeup off in public. You guys are probably wondering why I'm so uh, It's actually highlighter. I was trying this thing with highlighter and now I just look like a second shit. Okay, cool. But yeah, I was literally crying, crying, like ugly crying with one of a friend because we kind of just like reconnected yesterday. But because we reconnected in, in such an alcoholic state, we ended up addressing things that we should, probably shouldn't have addressed in public. But like it, 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 it needed to happen in that moment in time. Oh yes, I broke another nail. And this time this one was painful. It needed to be addressed in that moment in time so i cried obviously because i really obviously love her still miss her think about her all the time but um you know even with the setbacks like my nails breaking you know i kind of having a wardrobe malfunction the heat fucking up my makeup there's a lot of good memories that are coming out of this um trip there are a lot of good memories that are coming out of this trip like i'm i feel like i'm just there are certain things that I know about myself but I'm having to learn about you know kind of my repetition in terms of like how I am or how I can affect other people and I don't realize that because a lot of the time you're always looking at it from the outside looking you know from the inside looking out so you're always like what are people doing to hurt me but then you also need to kind of take a step back and ask yourself what are you doing to hurt other people and um, that's just where I am you know but I do want to have a good day. I'm just trying to think about the, the festival. Devin Gogo killed it. Musa Keys killed it. Moon Charles and Nelly also killed it. I just think that by she was like the first person to start. So everyone was still kind of, you know, getting into the wave. But I really, really wish they had put Moon Charles and Nelly like right after Musa Keys because she really had the heat. She was really bringing in terms of like the entertainment. But today, Wizkid is going to be there. So I'm really excited about that. And I don't know who else is going to be on the lineup. I'm not entirely sure. But I think, oh, DJ Maporisa is also going to be playing today, which is really cool. And then tomorrow, The Love of My Life, Cubs Are the Small, is going to be playing. Um, but oh, And Burner Boy is performing tomorrow. And they literally have two stages that are right next to each other. But it's so funny because when you're on one side of the stage, you can't hear the other music. And when you're on the other side of the stage, you can't hear the other music, which is so weird. Like, it makes no sense, but it makes sense. Because I was just like, wait, this, this, oh, is that over here? Where'd it go? <laughs> he keeps asking me if he needs to pass. I don't want him in my shot because here's in guys. One thing about men, men will take your spotlights. Men, men, men will take your spotlights. Four minutes away. Eh? Okay, perfect. So, yeah, I think it was kind of crazy how that actually managed to play out. The fact that you didn't hear the other music when you're on one side of the stage and then you didn't have the other music, but they write literally right next to each other. So, yeah, that's just where I am. Um, now we're going to go get a fan and meet up with Lolo's friends. 
and have a good time today i might not vlog as much as i did yesterday and that's probably because it's literally just going to be the same thing more drinking more drinking and more drinking more hungover moments and more drinking so oh and also i'm just from a safety perspective i don't like vlogging in the evening because obviously you get drunk someone can just snatch the camera i even don't have it on a tripod i'm using my hand because i feel like when we get drunk we casually get like very comfortable i don't think obviously anyone is here to steal but you get comfortable and someone could just you know boop, pop it out right out of your hand so yeah i just took it off the tripod and now i'm literally vlogging with my hand and sometimes that also gets tiring a bit i am rambling on tie six minutes of ramble sorry okay let's go How did you guys find this place? I like this place. Wait. It's so vibey. Ish. Ish. Hi. Hey, I'm just going to take some shots outside. It is so vibey. I want to actually show you guys what the street actually looks like. Everything is just looking amazing. People are just looking hot as fuck. And I also need to find a place for my busted ass um, thingy. But it looks like it's just food stores, guys. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, today is day three of the festival, which is obviously the biggest day. Let me give you guys a heads up of why you guys didn't see anything yesterday. That was because I got bounced at the event. And when I asked them why, they were like, no, dude, no cameras allowed. I'm like, what do you mean no cameras allowed? Because y'all let me in with the camera on Friday. And they're like, no, no, no cameras allowed. So I was forced to take my camera back to the hotel and then go back to the event, which took up another 45 minutes of my time. So what is probably going to happen today is that I'm not going to vlog because right after we're going on a boat cruise and right after the boat cruise we're going to the event so I have no place where I'm going to be able to put my camera so I'm not going to take the chance but if you guys quickly want to see what I'm wearing before the Uber gets here let me just show you guys quick this is what I'm wearing I'm actually wearing shorts for the first time today I'm really like nervous I'm really insecure about it I'm just wearing Armani Exchange slides and I got this cute top from Zara in, uh, what was it, Spain? And my cute Barcelona top and my eight nails. So, yeah, so this is how it looks. It's very Baywatchy. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna head out and I will probably vlog from my phone and I'll talk to you guys later.
guys. So it is the last day, Monday actually, and I'm at the train station with a total of seven and a half nails. Like things are not looking good, okay? I'm so ready to go back home. I have so much work to do. I'm so tired. I'm so drained. I don't want to be here. My voice is gone. Things are not looking good. But anyway, I'm getting ready to catch that train. That's going to take us, I don't know where. I don't, I don't actually, I cannot have, I just want to see myself at the airport. And then as soon as we get there, then we can just prep to go to Dubai. And I think that's probably when I'm going to fall asleep um, on the plane. I don't think I'll fall asleep on the train because I want to be alert and make sure I get to the, to the airport. But anyway, yeah, guys, I'm going to keep you posted with my arrival and I can't wait to get home to my family, to my friends and to edit the stamp content child because we live in off that accent babes but my voice gone 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 I screamed so much my man hi can we take a little hit my man will make me make the show